right? So a question I am asked a lot is, is my turtle a boy or is my turtle a girl? And sometimes that's a little bit of a loaded question because sometimes you can't tell. Sometimes you won't be able to tell for years. So today I'm going to tell you how to tell, how to tell, tell you how to tell, how to tell. I'm going to teach you guys how to identify whether a turtle is a male or a female. And in the case that it's too young, uh, about how long you'll have to wait. This thing is crazy. As you can see, uh, the female cooters, as you can see, are big and bulky. Uh, you'll see that she has short claws on the front feet. That is one of the biggest ways to tell, uh, often at a distance, uh, how to tell the cooters and sliders, uh, the males from the females. Males will have these long tapered claws that they use to kind of tickle the female and uh, entice her into mating. They also use it as communication between each other. Uh, you'll also notice that she has a very short tail. Look at that thing. Yeah, she has a little short tail. Males will have a much longer tail. So let's take a look at an adult male uh, and show you the differences. I have an adult male cooter. As you can see, he has, as you can see, he has a much longer tail. That tail is super long compared to the females. And the, the opening for the cloaca is closer to the end on these guys. And then you'll also notice much longer claws on the front feet. Hopefully he doesn't, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't like bite my ear or something. Sometimes these guys get a little defensive but you can see those much longer claws on the front feet. And again, those are used for kind of communication and also uh, enticing females during breeding season. These guys will go up and they'll use those long claws and kind of tickle the face of the female. Male, less bulky, much longer tail. Now, one thing that people always talk about is the concave plastron, and that doesn't apply to every turtle species. If we were to take a look at this guy, the shell's pretty flat. I wouldn't call it concave at all. I mean, it's for the most part perfectly flat. So if we're going to talk about concave shells and what that applies to, what that applies to generally is going to be your land turtles. And right here, I have a pretty little box turtle. And if you look, this is a pretty little female box turtle. And the bottom of her shell is pretty flat. She's got a tiny little tail. That is one thing you'll notice across almost all turtle and tortoise species is the females always have a very small tail in comparison to the males. Now in snapping turtles, they'll have an, a long tail but the opening to the cloaca will be right there near the edge of the shell, whereas uh, on the males, that'll actually come out further. I actually did a video on how to tell male from female snapping turtles. I'll put a link for that right up here. But getting back to this box turtle, you can see nice round shape, hardly concave at all. You see like a little bit of an indent, but nowhere near what you're gonna see in a male. So let's go find a male. All right, so we've got a big bruiser right here of a male Gulf Coast box turtle. And you'll see this guy. Very large, and you can see that concave. Pretty well developed. In some male box turtles, this will be even more developed and even deeper, but in comparison to that female, you can see that dip is pretty noticeable. Um, he also will have, uh, in box turtles, males will have large rear feet uh, and a bit chunkier of a tail. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that'll cover box turtles. Box turtles, you generally can go by that concavity. Some people will say, Males have red eyes, but sometimes females have red eyes, so that's not always something you can go by. Here's a male, slightly red eyes. I wouldn't even really call these red, they're more of a brown. But you can see that concave shell that he has. See that dip in there? Much more concave than the female. Much more concave than the female. So I'm gonna tip him back over, send him on his way back into his uh, little bush hideout he was in. All right, so we have talked about cooters and sliders and box turtles. Uh, those are pretty common turtles. Those are ones that at least everybody has seen a red-eared slider. Red-eared sliders, male's gonna have long nails, gonna have a longer tail than the female. Females are gonna be overall larger, and the reason for that is they're gonna be able to carry more eggs the bigger they can get. All right, so let's look at some of my favorite turtles, the musk and mud turtles. And in this case, I have a little female loggerhead musk. 
and she has a little teeny tiny tail. That is the smallest tail I've ever seen. Now, if it were a male, he would have a much chunkier tail, a much bigger tail. Uh, it's longer and it hooks up under the shell. And males will actually have these little rough patches on the insides of their back legs to actually grip the edges of the female shell. And you'll see that across all musk turtles, even into the mud turtles. So this is a female loggerhead musk. Let's take a look at a male musk turtle. All right, so right here, I have a male loggerhead musk turtle. He would love to bite me right on the nose and I am not gonna let him do that. But as you can see, let's take a look at the tail on this guy. Much larger tail than you see on the females. On the females, their tail is so tiny, little nub. These guys have a much chunkier tail. Uh, I've had this guy a long time and he's done some battle with some of my other males and uh, lost some of his marginals. I think he was missing some marginals when I got him, but um, again, getting back to the tail, you can see much larger tail. And these guys will use that when they're mating to kind of reach under the female shell with that tail and grip it. And then they have these little rough patches on the insides of their rear legs. All right, so let's move from aquatic turtles and come on down this way and we will talk about tortoises. Uh, tortoises will be very similar to talking about box turtles. T turtles on land, a lot of times, the main way to tell is going to be with looking at that plastron on the underside. With the tortoises, the main thing you're going to look at is that tail length, little nub and tail, female, long tail, male. And you may have to wait a while. Uh, hatchling tortoises probably aren't going to start to show, you know, whether they're a male or female for many years. Uh, you're probably looking at having to wait until they're at least a five or six inch shell. So. Let's take a look at a female. All right, so this is my only male Russian tortoise, but you'll notice nice long tail on this guy. You'll see the way it kind of wraps around the underside of the shell. And what that, again, same as all the other turtles, to kind of help reach during mating. Uh, males have those longer tails. But overall, not a, a whole lot of other ways to tell. So again, take a look at the tail first. All right, so with turtles like soft-shelled turtles, uh, the females are gonna be just much larger than the males. Males are usually a half the size of a female or even less. Sometimes with spiny soft shells, the females can be over 20 inches long and then the males are seven or eight inches long. So big size difference there. All right, so I know so many of you get a young turtle and you wanna know right away whether it's a boy or a girl, whether it's for naming it or just for your own personal curiosity. Um, but the thing is like, even with these two turtles, this turtle here is a year old, this turtle here hatched out this year. There's no real way to tell until they're much older. So these two turtles, I probably won't know whether they are males or females for another four or five years potentially. And I'm fine with that. The main thing is just to enjoy them, just to accept them for what they are. If it's a male or female, it's not gonna affect the care. It's not gonna affect um, anything other than maybe providing for it. If you happen to have a female cooter or slider, you're probably gonna have a larger turtle. You should provide, ideally, the same enclosure either way. Bigger is always better. So hopefully this helps you guys, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, and share these videos. Share them with uh, friends, family, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, just share these videos and enjoy them. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Boop. <laughs> Look at them. Uh, they're so cool.